In today's video, I'll be sharing the top five cons of using Google Flights as well as a mistake to avoid when you go to purchase your tickets. It could ruin your trip. The first con of Google Flights is that you might miss out on finding the best flight for your trip as not every airline is going to be listed. Google Flights includes the majority of airlines, but it does not include every airline in its search results. This means that you may not see all of the available flight options for a particular route. A notable exception is Southwest Airlines. As of filming this video, Southwest has still not partnered with Google and any Southwest flights are not going to show up in your Google Flights search results. That's a pretty significant exception, especially for US domestic travelers, and it's a good reason to always compare with other flight searching websites like Skyscanner and Kayak. These sites are also going to exclude some airlines, but they will differ from the ones that are excluded on Google Flights. It's also important to know that the very best flight deals might not show up for you on Google Flights. Mistake fares, which are extremely discounted flight prices that are the result of an airline pricing error, are one example of flight deals that might not show up on Google Flights. These limited time flight deals are most relevant to travelers that are open to multiple vacation spots and if you want to be notified of these deals, consider subscribing to a service like Scott's Cheap Flights or joining a Facebook group for cheap flight alerts from your home airport. This can help ensure that you don't miss out on any exclusive deals that might not be listed on Google Flights. Let us know down in the comments if you have a particular spot in mind for your vacation this year or if you would be open to multiple different destinations if there was the right flight deal. And even though not every single airline and not every single deal is going to be included in a Google Flight search, you are still going to get many different flight options. But this next con is that maybe not all of those options are realistic. Sometimes, the platform may suggest flights with very short layovers or connections that might be difficult or impossible to make. This can turn a seemingly good flight deal into a poor choice if you are not able to catch your next flight. I've had Google Flights suggest great deals on flight routes only to see that they are suggesting a 30 minute connection time from when one flight lands to when the next flight takes off. It doesn't matter how cheap the flight ticket is if there's a very slim chance that you will actually be able to make your connection. Always double check the details of the suggested flight itinerary to ensure that you are able to make all connections and arrive at your destination as planned. Well, it looks like Ollie will be joining us. I'm not complaining. He always gets so interested when I'm talking about Google Flights. It means he might get a stay at his grandparents where they absolutely spoil him rotten. Another drawback of using Google Flights is that you will occasionally see outdated or inaccurate pricing. Sometimes you see a great deal, but then you click on it, and when you go to actually make the flight purchase, it will show you a higher price tag, or there is no way to book online, and you are instructed to call the airline instead. Save yourself some time and don't bother trying to reach the airline by phone. They are often very difficult to reach, and even if you do manage to contact someone, they will probably tell you that Google Flights simply had an outdated price. You should be able to book any itinerary that is actually available on the flight's website directly. Similar to how calling the airline is not going to help you, another drawback to Google Flights is that you will get limited, if any, customer support. Google Flights is completely free to use, so you can't complain too much about the lack of support. However, it is still frustrating in situations where you do see things like inaccurate pricing or if you experience another issue while using the platform. If you are experiencing any issues, Google Flights does provide some tutorials and user guides that may help you troubleshoot general issues on your own. Something that is critical for anyone using Google Flights to know is that it is a search engine, but not actually the tool where you make your flight purchase. Google Flights is going to give you links to other websites where you can complete the purchase. These other websites may include third-party booking sites, which include websites like Expedia, Kiwi, and Trip.com. It's also going to give you a link to the airline where you can make your purchase directly on the airline's website. And then if you need to make any changes on your flight or you need to do things like request a refund if the flight was canceled, you'll need to do that through the website that you booked with, not by contacting Google Flights. 
That's why the booking mistake that you want to avoid at all costs would be choosing to book with a third party website instead of choosing to go to the airline's website and booking with the airline directly. You will need to contact support at the website that you booked with, who is then going to contact the airline on your behalf, who will then get back to that website, who will then get back to you. It can be extremely difficult to get in touch with third party booking sites like Expedia, making this process much more complicated and drawn out than it needs to be. And then in addition to middle manning the communication between you and the airline when you do need support for your flight booking, third party booking sites also do not need to follow the same rules that airlines need to follow. The Department of Transportation has set rules that apply to airlines and apply when you book a flight with an airline directly that include things like giving you a full refund if you decide to cancel a flight within 24 hours of making the booking. Third party websites do not need to follow these rules. Good luck finding those flight deals and then don't forget to subscribe for more travel tips next week. Bye.